All right, we start with a big fish tail. And there are always fish tails out there, but you always got to have pictures to back it up. They've got pictures to back it up. This is off the coast of, Nor coast of Norway. That is a 222 pound halibut yeah, off the coast of Norway. Halibut. That's what I'm told is actually the biggest uh, species of flatfish out there. Yes, the guy actually reeled this thing in, or as close as he could, if you will. He couldn't get it in the boat, so he jumped into the water to get a picture with this sucker so he could prove. You see that smile? You like that? Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, I feel like he looks scared. He's, he looks happy. <laughs> but uh, I would have been happier if he would have cut this sucker up because you could get about 250 fillets out of this thing. We love how that. But he released it. I never understood the, the catch and release idea of fishing. Well, I just don't think he could get that one on the boat, you know? <laughs> but many do it for humanitarian reasons. They want, they, they just enjoy the fishing. I caught the fish, everybody look, and you toss it back. I am from a place where you catch the fish, you throw it in the boat, you put it on the ice, you go home, you scale it, you gut it, and you fry it. I hear ya. I hear ya, but if you can't get it on the boat, what are you gonna do? That thing's huge. We Put it back in there and swallow In Arkansas, something. we would have found a way. <laughs> we found a way. <laughs> you bring in that flatbed right into, right, right into the water, okay? Uh, so I'm gonna tell you a story about um, a boy and his pet duck. It's actually quite cute. Uh, the boy has special needs, and so I know that parents out there, if they have a child with special needs, you know sometimes they can relate sometimes to animals better than they can to a human. So the ducks, um, <laughs> <laughs> the duck's mom died, oh. so basically it was kind of an orphan, and they created this relationship and this bond, and so wow. now clearly the duck is in the house with them. They're best friends. The duck's name, by the way, Nibbles. Nibbles? Nibbles. Well, that works. That's so okay, cute. Okay, that's a cool shot right there. That's so <laughs> cute. That's way different than, you know, oh, apparently the duck protects his homework, so he can't ever say... My pet ate my homework. The duck protects his homework. <laughs> we got one more story. I know you love this one. Uh, I, I was about to call her Gertrude for some reason. That's, that's my grandmother's okay. name. Okay, we were that's, talking about yeah, your grandmother. That's my grandmother's name. Okay, this is Winnie. This is Winnie, and she is out of England. She's 100 years old, and for her birthday, she got 16,000 birthday cards. She got one from the Queen. She got one from an actor from the show Downton Abbey. She got it from all over because a radio station picked up on her story. And the story is her husband died 30 years ago. She really has no family around. So her 100th birthday was coming up. The radio station got a hold of this and, and kind of put it out there. And 16,000 cards came in. And happy birthday to you, a young lady. Grandma Winnie, that's just the sweetest thing I've ever heard. I love all those people stepping up for her. I, I love, love this story. I do. I'm sorry, I, I took your story. I love the story about Grandma Winnie. Um, so that's so fantastic. Everybody sent her a birthday card. It, do you feel bad now if you didn't send your grandmother a birthday card? I'm like, ooh. Oh, why'd you have to bring it? Oh. <laughs>